Tony Amaral is a special agent for the SCP unit. He's a guy who's who's essentially living on the edge. He's he's lost everything and he's fighting to get what little bit of of justice uh, back in his life. Uh, he's lost his wife. He has no kids, and the only thing he had was the job, and even that is slipping away. So he's a guy that's um, he's in trouble. Jaime's character is a character that can get on your nerves. He's a tough guy, and he doesn't take any any, any bull. And uh, I'm a pretty tough guy, and so we we butt heads, but we work together to uh, to go after these things. So it's it's an interesting dichotomy that exists between the two. I mean, we get pissed off at each other. We're out of our league here. Well, it's very much a love-hate relationship. You know, he loves me and I hate him. You know, that's essentially it. Um, I think what it is, the thing with Vic and the, the great thing about Vic is that he's, he's stern, but he's also very fatherly. So it's kind of almost a father-son relationship. The crew doing what, what we all know what to do and how to do which is quality filmmaking. It's about putting forth the honest effort, not just uh, in front of the camera, but behind the camera. And it means something, and it's important. And this audience is really important, and they deserve to have real quality filmmaking to tell these stories, because these stories are really good. I mean, that's, that's the bottom line. Without the heart of what the SCP is, then we don't have anything. Well, if they like... Uh gooey horror, they're gonna like this. Uh, it's got some, I think, some pretty good acting in it. The director's good, people are really good in it. And so I, I think it'll be fun to watch. That's what it should be, is fun. Because it's a lot of like monster type of stuff and people chasing them and getting gooed up and stuff. So and when it works, that stuff is a lot of fun. And I, I think it'll work in this. Well, I think it's what every performer wants. You want them to laugh, you want them to cry, you want them to feel fear, you want them to be cheering on the hero, you know, all of those great things that make up great cinema. And, you know, back to what I said, the stories are so powerful that we want to go on that, on that journey and bring them to life. <laughs>